Well, now, the SJB or, or members of the SJB have been in power before. They've held positions of government. And uh, to the eyes of the general public, at least, a strong contender with the SJB in this fight against corruption, a fight against the reason why all of us are here economically, uh, socially, financially, why we are here today um, is the Jatika Janabala Vegya out of all the political parties in Sri Lanka. And there are those who believe that the JJB has never been in a proper position of power. I believe under Chandrika Bandar and Kumaratunga, they held several ministerial portfolios. However, um, within the span of a year, or maybe even less than that, they resigned from those ministerial portfolios uh, due to a breakdown, of course, uh, with the relationship between the two parties. Uh, so they've never really gotten a chance or a go at trying to get rid of corruption in Sri Lanka. There are those who believe that members of the SJB have had their chance, several chances in fact, maybe not uh, newcomers like yourself, but uh, more senior members of course who are, who will most probably be in a higher position of power, a higher position of government, having a bigger say under an SJB government. So there are those who believe that the JJB would probably be better at it and we should probably give them a shot too. What do you have to say to these people? I don't think this JJB, I don't believe in that. Because what is JJP? Jatika Janapalavege, there's no JJP, that's JVP. Hmm. J, JJP is a camouflage. Hmm. Because they have a, such a bad reputation, hmm. JVP, they want to camouflage by putting a couple of other people and they have this new name called JJP. Hmm. So, so, but the uh, decision makers are hmm. the JVP, JVPs and the JVP policy will uh, be there. Hmm. So, first of all, when you said that they never got the chance, no, they always had the chance. Hmm. From when? 1994, okay. right, hmm. they were in government. Hmm. Then who brought Mahindra Rajapaksa? Hmm. Chandrika Kumar Tunga didn't want uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa to be. Hmm. It was, it's, it's, a, it's no secret. Hmm. It was J JVP hmm. and, and I, I, ca I can show you the video clips Mm. How how much they talk about in parliament, how strong and how hard they work to bring Mahindra Rajapaksa. Mm. So now Mahindra Rajapaksa has been, uh, uh, you know, you know now the courts have made made him and his brothers. Mm. Uh, they have uh, made a judgment saying that they have uh, bankrupt this country. Mm. So and they also. Uh, part of uh, you know shouldn't they be blamed hmm. so not only that e even even when it came to other presidential elections hmm. like Maitri Pala hmm. all, all that they were directly and indirectly helping uh, even Maitri Pala hmm. so but didn't the didn't the SJB feel Maitri I mean the the UNP your your mother party your no, initial no, no. party what? didn't they feel Maitri Pala Sirisena? No, no, my, my point is, mm, you mm. were saying that JJB didn't get JV, an opportunity. JVB didn't get an opportunity. No, mm. I, I disagree with that. They were directly and indirectly in, uh, uh, in government as well as making uh, leaders mm. in this country. And they, they played a bigger, big role. Mm. So, you can't just say that oh, I'm now all born again and, and I have not done any scene before, mm. right? So, Definitely, hmm. they are part of it, and we. So maybe, I, maybe, I, maybe maybe someone could say, well, indirectly, yes, they have been part of Sri Lanka's no, political structure. Directly, how, how can so you say directly? indirectly when they directly how many, been in power? Directly, been yes. In power. They, how many ministries did they have, uh, uh, and how many uh, parliamentarians did they have? Almost forty parliamentarians they had during uh, Chandrika Kumar Tunga's government. Hmm. So they had cabinet ministries, they had deputy ministries, mm. so on. Mm. 